This summer, thousands of St. Louis women found out their mammograms were no good. The FDA found problems with two years worth of breast cancer screenings done at Watson Imaging. Now the I team has learned those problems may have started earlier. Investigative reporter PJ Rendawa started getting calls as soon as our first story aired. The cold and the colors of fall remind Sharon Munden of the bare branches of her own family tree. I have a maternal aunt who has had multiple recurrences of breast cancer. My mom actually was diagnosed. So when Sharon found a lump and noticed inflammation on her breast, her doctor advised her to get a mammogram and soon. The night that I felt the lump on my breast, it was a Friday night and I started calling right away. It's a similar story for 76 year old Jane Thompson. In 2011, she found a large lump and saw redness on her breast. Both women ended up at Watson Imaging, a mistake they say that could have cost them their lives. Something was wrong. And I told them where the lump was and the girl felt it. I mentioned my symptoms to her and she made a note of it. So I was feeling pretty confident that they were gonna take my experience seriously. After their exams, Watson gave both women letters, stating their mammogram showed, quote, no evidence of cancer. So it is a sense of relief, and it's like, huh, the worst that could possibly happen isn't happening. Both women decided to get second opinions. For Jane, the bad news came just eight days after her screening at Watson Imaging. She called me on March 16, 2011, said I had breast cancer. For Sharon? Within, you know, a week and a half of the scan itself, I got my cancer diagnosis. Did you wonder at that point, how come they didn't catch this when I was there last week? Yeah, of course I did. So I called, I don't know what doctor I talked to. He said they should have done a biopsy that day. Dr. Greg Sizik, who signed off on Jane's scan, told us it had been 10 years since he worked at Watson. While he didn't recall Jane's case, he said nearly 20% of all cancers are not seen on a mammogram. So the I team compared reports from Watson Imaging to reports from those second opinions. While Watson's radiology report showed no dominant or malignant mass, Days later, Jane's doctor noted a mass in her left breast, expressing concern that it wasn't caught and that it was quite prominent. Those second opinions suggested immediate action. What do you feel like Watson could have done that they didn't do? I wish that my results would have been not negative, but inconclusive. And I asked them to review um, other patient files. That review didn't happen until the American College of Radiology, which accredits imaging clinics, conducted an audit at Watson Imaging in 2018. Finally, this past summer, the FDA forced it to stop performing mammograms immediately due to image quality issues. The FDA only sent letters to people for the last two years who had their mammograms done. Correct. Yeah. Do you think it's worth alerting people beyond that two year period because your case was in 2011. I just don't wish that on anybody else if it could be caught quicker. Both women are now cancer free. They urge other women to get their yearly mammograms at a breast health center. My cancer was missed and it just felt awful for women who may be in similar situations and didn't have the outcome that I did. For the I team, PJ Randawa, Five on your side. You can file a complaint about an imaging clinic with the FDA. We'll walk you through that. Just look for this story on KSDK.com. If you have a tip for the Five on Your Side I team, call us at 314-444-5231 or email five on your side at KSDK.com. All calls and correspondence will be kept confidential.